excited today to be checking out Across the Obelisk. We have played this before in online multiplayer co-op with Sips and Mouth, which I wanted to mention just before we get started here because there's no other deck builder I've ever played that is like, hey, by the way, you can play with your friends online. I know you, there's mods that you could get for other games and stuff like that, but it fulfilled a very important niche for allowing us to do some strategy gaming together. We are playing it today, sponsored by Paradox. Thank you to Paradox for the sponsorship. To celebrate the release of version 1.2.0, which has some balance changes, but it also coincides with the release of a new piece of DLC, the Sands of Omenin, which adds a whole new area to the game. There's also new cards. There's a couple new status effects. We're going to see the rest as we get going here. There's new golden locusts that you can find, and when you when you defeat the locusts, you get bonus rewards in combat. A fully random roguelite adventure. Every game will be different as you progress through the void while trying to reach the obelisk. Listen, this might not be recommendable that you start by going obelisk challenge mode. I'm going for it regardless. Single player game mode, create new game. Start me right here. Now, we got Magnus as a war. You, you have to make a party in this which is why the, the online co-op works so well. Excuse me? I don't have the Wolf Wars, so I can't play as Yager. But in the DLC, Yaromir? In the DLC, we have Leia and Navalia. Now, I don't know what they're up to, honestly. They appear to be healers. Let's go with uh, Leia. Let's go with a spell ca Wait, wait, are you a healer or are you a... Your class is DLC, so... You Chad, I might need your help on this one, but I'll tell you one thing. Give me, uh, give me Heimer in position one. In position two as a scout. I gotta be real with you, this looks like it's Thull's uh, place to be. And then a spell caster, a mage. How about one... Wilbur. Wilbur looks like my definition of what a mage is. By the way, I do want to say exclamation point obelisk. You can click on the link and check it out for yourself. The base game is on sale for 35% off right now. What a coincidence. Now, all I need to know is... Is Leia a healer? If I'm being honest, like this Reginald looks like a healer, okay? Otis, <laughs> he looks like a pig. I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry. Click on the scroll and then you can tell. Oh, you think about everything, don't you? A paladin healer tank. For generations, the felines of Omenin, in order to maintain Bastet's blessing, have the custom of offering a young girl when her paladin dies. Leia was chosen to be the next paladin and was raised and trained by Bastet. All right. Well, that sounds like a, a pseudo-healer, so why don't you start me up and begin the adventure here. Challenge card selection. Always try to select packs with the most synergy, and don't forget about the energy cost. I'm cut out for this. I can do this. Avenger, recommended? Recommended. Guardian or Avenger? We already have another tank. Let's go um, Avenger. And let's follow that up with... Um, Destroyer. Wait, no, we need some lower costs, if I had to guess. How about a little Commander? And then give me a little random on top of that. And then for our, our super rare, Overpower. Deal 35 hammer damage. Apply 3 crack. <laughs> no no, uh, no uh, quips about that one, please. No back talking. Apply 1 vulnerable. And if it's overcharged, deal 16 more damage and apply more status effects. Throw Bolus. You can purge evasion, deal 25 damage, apply some status effects. Or gain 3 sharp, repeat up to 3 times. You know what? Why don't you give me overpower? Although you have so much... Bro, that's so expensive. Like, look at the 3 energy. Oh, your, your deck is too expensive, brother. I think I got it. I, I gotta go with Grinding Wheel, just to give myself a chance here. It's purple though? Alright. <laughs> you got me on that one. Select a perk. Okay. Um, damage is always good. Let's take plus one blunt damage. And then plus... Plus one blunt damage. Plus ten HP. Why don't you give me um, plus two block and plus one speed. 
I am ready. I am ready. I am not ready. I have selected four out of four perks. I'm not prepared. I'm re now I need to go to Thulls, probably. Okay. Thulls. You are a rogue. You have some poison synergies. Let's be a poisoner. Let's also add a bit of a plague synergy to you. Your average energy costs 1.45. You know what? I wouldn't mind if you were a little bit of a scoundrel as well, quite frankly. And then deal seven brain. Have you ever popped champagne on a plane? Well, get in some... And with that, I guess she said she'd never seen snakes on a plane. X equals target poison times 1.5. Okay. Or plague. Deal 22 range damage. Apply a staggering amount of poison. Scoundrel. Holy cow. 15, 15, and 14 poison. I gotta go with Neurotoxin, just cause like, I imagine this is what the back of my head looks like. Select me, and then for you, I'm gonna say, you could use more, better poison. Mind damage should be high, because we have a card with a purple brain on it. Speed should be high, and why don't you go super fast so you can put on the poison as fast as possible. But now Wilbur, Wilbur is our mage. He is a, an elemental wage. He could be an aeromancer, a cryomancer, a dead tempest. Let me get, um, let's make him an, a recommended aeromancer. I don't know, Grimoire of Flames. Whenever you're on your first run, you might as well just send it and then learn as you go, okay? You don't need the stress about reading every single card immediately. We'll figure it out, okay? People say go lightning. Okay, well, zap, electric, electric discharge, and shock nova. Those sound like lightning abilities to me. Other lightning abilities. You know what? I bet making an enemy wet and then shocking them does extra damage. So why don't you toss me a little bit of a rain squall water jet and then a little bit of sorcery as well. Superconductor. Deal two lightning. Apply three sparks. Deals one lightning damage per charge at the start of the turn, then removes a card. And jump repeats this three times and deal plus 50% bonus damage. Send it. It's just that easy. You should do more lightning damage. You should have um, better resistances. I don't know. Have some block, have some shield, and have some extra HP. And then Leia. Give me Paladin. You're also our healer. I need you to be a healer. So give me Paladin and give me Guardian. And wh what do you think is better, Defender or Protector? Would you rather be Defended or Protected? I personally feel that I would rather be Defended because If, I don't want to be protected if I'm not in danger. I feel like I would find that patronizing. But I would rather be defended because the, 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 you can only come to someone's defense if they're offended. So I would... Oh, protected as heals. Never mind. Okay, we'll be protected then. <laughs> Perseverance. Grant 20 shield, 20 block, 3 zeal, and you can overcharge it to make it even better. Grant X, X equals your draw pile times five. You get two extra draw, you get four extra fortify. Protect from evil to all heroes. 28 shield, okay, you know what? Send it, that seems right to me. And then your healing should be better. Your defense should be better. Let's give you one level of that, and then at the same time, let's make your health better as well. Okay, there you go. Now we're ready to go. I'm ready to choose my item rewards. You can choose one of the following items or the following gold amount. Now, this dude is a blunt damage user. So I will provide you with a club. You are a poisoner. 
I would like for you, what is, what is this? Damage and heal plus 5% per charge. Damage with hit, apply one sight. You see what your opponents are going to do. Combat start evasion. Okay, you know what? Why don't you start with the ability to evade? You need to make, get extra lightning damage. Whenever you play a lightning spell, draw one. And then you can wear Daniel's golden chain. Okay. Now we're ready to go. All this work and he's going to be one tapped on the first encounter. Listen, if you think you can do better, exclamation point obelisk. This is version 1.2. This isn't version 1.0 of Across the Obelisk. This is version 1.2. Things just got real, okay? They've also, I mean, we're playing the DLC, the Sands of Ulmanen. This is my first time at it. If I get one tapped on the first encounter, it is what it is, okay? But I'm just, if you think you can do better, why don't you check it out for yourself? I am going to start by going to... Now listen, I want to prove you wrong. So I want to go to the elite battle. But I also don't want to die on the first encounter. Because then that would validate you and I would be embarrassed. <laughs> Maybe let's get our feet wet with something like this first. Let's just fight in the corn on the cob. Okay, the obelisk's influence is corrupting the monsters in this area. You can choose to fight them under the effects of corruption to increase the difficulty and gain further rewards. All monsters gain speed plus one, and then apply one fast and two insane to a random character. I would accept this challenge and just give me some heals, just in case. Okay. I choose, I choose to accept it. Send me. I'm ready. There's a big button that says continue. Maybe I've already got too insane on me. Okay. You can cast cards until you run out of energy. I'm getting the tutorial because Sips was hosting the game every time he played. But honestly, this is a good primer for the audience, okay? It's not a good primer for me. I'm already a master. But it might be a good primer for the audience specifically. You can cast cards until you run out of energy. When you end the turn, energy that hasn't been used will be saved. Understood. This box shows available targets. All right. Let me read this for a moment. Poison Dagger. Deal seven range damage. Apply six poison. Repeat once. Deal 15 weapon damage. Apply one bleed. Chain twice. Uproot. Purges thorns. No, purges chains. No, purges thorns. Applies poison and vulnerable. Wicked craftsman, discover three small weapons, shuffle one into your deck, cost reduced by one. Okay, I, I know what I must play. With three energy, we look to kill the weakest unit. Goodbye. And I think that's going to be corn on the cob. Unless we could kill you in time, which we definitely can't. But we could probably kill corn on the cob. You know what? I don't think we can kill corn on the cob. Well, let's try anyway. Maybe we can. You are getting quite hurt. We have one energy. No, we have two energy. We have three energy remaining. Am I crazy? Let's do 15 damage and apply some bleed. You are now two damage away from dying. That hurts. <laughs> I don't want to shuffle it into your deck. Deal four damage. Apply three. It'd be nice to get like a buff. I guess I will just apply some poison to you to make sure that you die. Okay, so you are now dead. End turn. The cards that monsters are going to cast are hidden by default. Sight effect will reveal these cards, which allows you to better plan your movements. I have evaded your burn damage. You have hurt me, but it's my large man, so I'm not even worried about it. Characters have a speed value, which can be modified by cards, items, and traits. That value establishes who moves first. The closest hero to center has priority in the event of a tie. Okay, our paladin goes next. It would be nice to kill the unit up front. Deal four damage, apply sanctify. Deal 14 damage, 
apply two. What, what is the? Oh, this is all monsters. Okay, I understand now. And you presently have five energy, but all you do is put up some blockers. Okay, okay. In that case, I would like to use a sacred bolt on you to do some damage. And I would like all heroes to have a little bit of defense. And with one energy remaining, I pass my turn. He has hit me with some barber cuts. And now the corn on the cob. The corn, I thought the corn on the cob would die before I got a chance to attack. It's my mistake. He's hitting me with popcorn kernels. Okay. Huge turn. Thank you. I'm, I'm pretty good at what I'm doing here, I think. Our main goal is to blow up and act like we ain't no nobody. But then our, also our other goal is to attack the red flyer until he dies. Front monster. Draw a card. Deal eight blunt damage and then apply one crack so he takes more damage from blunt damage. Shield charge deals X blunt damage where X equals your current shields times 0.4, okay? Applies, he, he slows down enemies I've noticed here. And gain three sharp. Slashing and piercing damage gets better. I never should have taken this card. I've made a grievous error. And you presently have nine shield, but this purges block. Block and shield are two different things. Okay. I'm going to draw one, deal eight blunt damage, and apply Cracked to you. And I am not going to double my Vanish or double my Fury because I have no Fury. Me when I'm the season finale of Secret Invasion. Well, no, I, if I have nothing to purge here, but it does 25 damage, that's even better. I don't even have to purge my shield to do 25 damage to you. And I got one remaining energy. I would apply slow to all enemy monsters. Who, who knows? That might mix things up for us. And then our wizard gets to go. It would be nice to kill the hog. Shock Nova. Deal 17 damage. Also slows the crap out of them. Mirror image. What is this? Gain powerful. Damage and heal done 5% per charge. I understand. Okay. Give yourself two lightning to make yourself stronger. Deal six lightning damage, apply three shock. It would be nice to shock or wet before we, I, I think I have my turn. I don't know, maybe I don't have my turn. <laughs> Been cooking any bits? Good question. I already talked about what if the pipes in your house gave you uh, Coke Zero instead of water. People didn't like that one. They said a lot of plumbers in chat, materials engineers, said it would erode the pipes. And I said, okay, genius, why doesn't it erode the pipes in the fountain drink then? And they, did, they said, uh, uh, uh. And I said, like you're doing right now? And I said, make sure you scan the chocolate bars individually to avoid electrical inveterance. I think I'm going to uh, wet your dries. And then hit you with a superconductor. I didn't realize. Oh, you get to draw a card off of your lightning plays. I forgot. Deal 13 damage. And then basically just, I mean, I'm going to light you on fire, freeze you, and burn you. So you're, you don't stand a chance. And then I think I can pretty much just play whatever cards I got. And you're, you're pretty much toast. So, like, why don't we, why don't, I, do I have any brain? I have none brain. I'll tell you what, front monster, enjoy that. Enjoy that. Deal X sharp damage, X equals target's poison, and then apply three poison. Dispel, mark, gain energy, and two stealth. Stealth makes your damage better. Neurotoxin deals 11 brain damage plus X brain x equals target poison times 1.5 here's where i'm at with this one it is uh, expensive so it must be better and it killed you so i have been validated <laughs> now let's think about this okay easy you thought i would die on the first encounter you think i would embarrass myself like that i'm making it to at least the second encounter spiked shield you gain a shield, but then you also gain thorns. 
I think we have enough shield options, man. I think if anything, more blunt damage. Just call me Seth Rogen, the way I be doing blunt damage. The way I be doing damage bluntly. I'll take a heavy strike, despite its prodigious expense. Now, Rupture applies some bleed. Ice Shot applies some freeze. All heroes get faster. Honestly, I'll take a buff there. Zap deals lightning damage. Electric Discharge. Ooh! You should see your doctor for that, I think. I think we want this because we're suffering from the inability to deal a lot of damage early is my expectation. And then our Paladin. Transform your bleed into burn and then gain fury. Dispel slow and grant one extra card draw. Deal eight dark damage. Heal yourself for 100% of the damage done. I'm a simple man. I go Expected Prophecy. Draw two cards. Place two cards from your hand on top of your deck. Let's get some cycling going here. Eight damage doesn't get me out of bed. Now, if you're not familiar with Across the Obelisk, on top of the card battling that you've already seen, it also has... Um, I don't know how to describe them, but it has events where the cards in your deck determine the outcome or influence the outcome. The way that it manifests itself in online multiplayer, hey, by the way, Shock Noble, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. In online multiplayer, you could all choose like a different outcome and then it's like whoever's card has the highest energy cost is the person that actually gets their choice manifested into reality. The same thing can happen in single player. It'll be like, hey, you need... Um, in order to complete this event, you need to draw a card that has an energy value of one or less. And you're like, do I want to do that? And you see the percentages. I'm a sucker for tactile and like probability-based mechanics like that. Let me see. The Apprentice Cook. There's a cooking competition. He has to bring a main ingredient. Well, let me just be honest, okay? The main ingredient is not going to be a sack of grain. And the main ingredient, as much as I would love a bread sandwich or something like that, and a strange mayonnaise, it's going to make everybody ill. You got to go with the monster egg, brother. He asks you to bring the ingredient to the place where the contest will be held. Okay, I can do that. First, we're going to do combat. And I, honestly, I think I'm ready for an elite. But where, where is the place that the... Oh, it's right there, right? That's where, the, that's where the contest is going to be held? Go ahead. Hook me up. All monsters gain extra damage, extra resistance. When a hero plays a spell, they go insane. Do you accept this challenge? Well, it'll give us chain lightning for free. I, I accept your challenge and substitute my own. My reward, I'll take chain lightning for free, please. Any chance we could do 80 damage to this dude up front before he gets a chance to attack? I'm going to say unlikely. I'm going to say best opportunity is to kill this guy for 65, okay? Toxic rain, global, everybody gets wet poison. Me when I order the soup of the day at the Orlando Airport Outback Steakhouse. All heroes get fast. Wicked craftsmen, you, you shuffle small weapons into your deck and ambush requires stealth. I don't think I can output enough damage for this fool, honestly. But here's what I will do. Start me with the poison spray. Any chance the poison spray hits the dude I want it to hit? Nope. Nope. Okay, once. You're probably the next best unit to attack then. I will poison everybody. I'm not afraid to poison everybody. What does wetness do? Prevents burn, but makes lightning do more damage. Then with two extra energy, sure. All heroes get faster. Oh, we're gonna crush you, dude! And then Wicked Craftsman, give me, put, put some of this in my deck. What do I want in my deck? I would like uh, Poison Damage. I'm just going for cards that look like they fulfill my current synergies. Okay, we need to do some damage to the one with 14 Poison on him, okay? Holy Slash only hits front monster. Holy Nova hits all monsters. Vitalize. Makes heroes stronger, suffer some burn, but gain some powerful. But you're not really expected to do damage. Okay, start by drawing two cards.
put these bad boys on the top of your deck. You have four energy. I mean, I hate to say it. I'm like... Let's make all monsters more vulnerable to holy damage. And then just make our tank a little bit stronger. How about that? Hi, Tomal. You can also only attack the front monster, really. Hang on. Gain. Okay. Gain. Too powerful. That seems great. Show Tomo. He doesn't want to be shown. This will do 29 damage to you. I feel like with 5 energy, I could actually probably just kill you. No, I can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> Hang on. Start here. Withdraw plus damage on the front monster. Shield charge is not going to be what we're looking for right now. We, this does 28 applies to. This does 28 with a draw one. Give me 28 plus draw one. Shield throw. Okay, all enemies get slower. That'll benefit us in the future, but not today. We can, Someone's dying, okay? By the way, I do see people saying it's a lot to manage all four players. Well, first off... Maybe for you. <laughs> Secondly, you're not expected to know exactly what you're doing on the first run through. You know, it's a complex game. You got to take a bit to wrap your hand around it. Also, this was the value of the online multiplayer. It's, it was easier for me. I feel like I got a great tutorial by playing it with Sips and Mouth. Sips had played it before, so he played as two characters. Me and Mouth only had to reckon with one character. And then by like 45 minutes into that, I was like, please give me the steering wheel um, so that I can play for Mouth because I don't know what this guy's doing, quite frankly. I think that he's going crazy. Why, why is he playing his buffs after his attacks, like it simply doesn't make any sense. I'm going to attempt to kill the front unit. Surely it can be done, right? Everybody get wet. Which makes lightning do more damage. And then with five energy, we can play two, two, one. This seems good. It also gave us another electric discharge card. Okay, well, I'm going to play two of those. This does 14 damage. Please tell me this one does... Tw I can't afford to play this one. Oh, I can slow you down slightly, but it doesn't matter. I'm a fool. How did I not kill... I, I got to go first with all my units. I didn't kill anybody. Okay, they got some fast lads. But I'm not taking very much damage. That's okay. Resistance. Impale. He got mad weapons too. Ain't trying to hear that. Furious Slash. Okay, so you hurt me a little bit. Big whoop. That don't impress me much. Who goes next? You go next. It would be nice. And you also... No, because you've already gone. We could kill you with a global effect, okay? That's, that's what I'm thinking right now. It would be nice to kill you. But we only have three energy. I think that means we'll be looking to... Oh, you're definitely not going to die, though. Unless, can I go stealthy mode? I can't go stealthy mode. We, we got to hit you with this. And then we got to hit you with... We'll get a global effect. We gotta hit you with this. Add some poison and some vulner. I guess that's an order issue. Come on, you gotta get out of the cords, man. I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, Anel, I just got here. What is the X meets Y of this game? Thank you for asking. The X meets Y of this game is um, Slay the Spire meets Darkest Dungeon. I have now been given the right of Divine Kings to attack. I will dispel slow on you and grant you one extra draw. That cost me nothing. He's a genius. We don't have an all monsters. We can shield. We can bluff. We can do six damage. We can sing. We can dance. After all, dear, this is France. I could play this for draw. I feel like a, 
I feel like that's what we need right now. Now you're gonna die. You're gonna die before you get to attack. This is such a good, like, summary of what's gonna happen. The fact that it has like the, it, it's in order from top to bottom. I would like to grant a bunch of block to you and pass my turn. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, but when, when do you die? You die at the end of your turn. It would be nice to kill you at the start of your turn. Let me think about this for a second. I think our, our card draw kind of sucks though, but start here. Suffer two lightning, but it'll make us do more damage. Zap hits a random monster, but at least it costs zero. We get a draw. That draw will definitely allow us to kill you before you get to attack again. And then we pass turn with one energy hanging. Now you need to get some heals or some buffs out there. Heal X, X equals targets missing health times 0.4. That lay on pause. Holy cow. Any other cat related puns that we're going to have to reckon with today? I'll tell you what, you, you need this. Actually, maybe we need this. That also granted you damage and heal buffs and all resistance is off. up. My man actually said off. <laughs> How about you take some shield and some courage and then self gets steel skin. Sure, why not? And I'm not going to worry about adding burn to myself at the present moment. Now, Thols. I don't know why I keep wanting to call Thols Smokus. Just something about the, maybe the fact that he's a poison lizard. I want to call him Smokus. Is anybody else picking up on that? Or you're like, no, he looks like a Thuls. He's losing his mind. Where did the, a golden scarab? When you get a golden scarab, if you kill it, you get a, a bonus objective, okay? Or you get a bonus reward, I should say. At the same time, I don't want my whole squad to die. So we got to reconcile this very carefully. Kill it before it escapes to earn 600 gold. Kill it after it uses crystallized card and before it escapes to heal, to earn 150 crystals per hero. Oh no, this is a golden one. Okay, so we, how, when do you escape? I'm assuming you escape in one turn. We gotta try. I will remember you. Do, 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 do. I will Gain stealth. Doesn't this gain stealth? Or it has no trigger. It does have it. It, it hits regardless. And then stealth gives us plus 40% extra damage. So this is where you'd like to use your, your big attack right here. That's not given that much. 13th. That's not that bad. This is using like all of our energy though, which kind of sucks. I guess I would go neurotoxin on you to, to kill you dead. On begin turn effect. And then to be straight up with you, I would love to... I think here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit you with a little bit of poison. And then I'm going to go stealthy so you can't hit me. I'm going to go stealthy evade. Now you are going to pass on. You're going to pass on. You were going to do an earth wave to me. Now, let me guess. This means he's going to leave. He's, I can see that he's playing a card called Fly Away. It's that easy. Heat Laser. Deal X Meteor Damage. And Deal X Fire Damage. X equals your hand size. Well, I have... Wait, hang on. Dispel Slow... Oh, but that used a card. <laughs> Can somebody explain to me why my 25 blunt damage is only doing 17? Oh, because he's got 31%, 25% base resistance to blunt damage. Well, how, how am I supposed to know that? 
It's still the play. And then we still play a heat laser. It's it's all we got. Blunt tolerance? Who is he? Seth Rogen? It's the same joke. <laughs> Please laugh. I'm gonna tell you the Golden Scarab is going to get away. And that's fine. It is what it is. I can't stop it. We might as well hit you for a little bit of damage and then repair someone's armor. There you go. Your armor has been repaired. Now you, on the other hand. I think, me personally, I'm just going to throw out some zaps because they cost zero. And then I'm going to hit you with a superconductor, which is not going to kill you. First, I'm going to make you wet. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit you with a superconductor. Wilbur has been crushed! What happened, man? He was crushed? He will resurrect with 70% of his life, and you will carry this curse for the rest of your life. Bro, but how did he get crushed? The optional challenge you picked killed him? <laughs> well, that's why it's called an optional challenge instead of like, you know, an optional thing that is really easy. It still hurts though. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this. All monsters get a little blunt damage. You apply some slow shield bash. I think we need him to have more engines that generate shields. Because the, when he generates the shields, then the shields have a payoff that allows them to do more damage. Certainly we want the chain lightning. Draw three cards, place two from your hand on top of your deck. Dual strike, deal six damage, then deal six damage. Deal 12 damage, deal 12 damage. But it requires stealth, which is really hard. On this one, I'm a simple man. Give me shards, less is more. These also don't seem relevant to my deck. Foresight, overpower, deal 17 damage, apply some blunt, unresisted... Heal! Oh, baby! Now that's something everyone can enjoy. I'm here to tell you that I originally thought I was going to um, fight the elite, but I don't think that I'm good enough for that. You come across a man who looks exhausted next to a large package. As you approach, he says, hello. I've been tasked carrying this large package, but it's too heavy. I'm willing to pay you 800 gold to carry it. Okay, we literally have a robot. I will carry it. I get that it lowers his speed, but... He can sustain a few hits anyway. I refuse to do... No, I must do the obelisk corruption. Because the heal is too valuable. This is a great piece of art for this card, too. All monsters gain max HP plus 15. Big whoop. Every round, Tabula Rasa goes to a random monster. Okay, it purges the status effects. I'm not even worried about that. Let me get my levels up, though. Add a copy of Reactive Laser to your deck. Transform damage to burn. No, to fire. When you block, deal 4 damage. Apply a fire to all monster for 11 uses. Block charges plus two. When you block, all heroes block. That's my play. Those me. Black talons. Poison and darkness charges plus two. When hit, deal eight damage, apply one darkness. Or subterfuge. Stealth charges plus one. Damage by others, gain one stealth too fast. Okay. I want to be stealthy. Add a copy of circuit overload or skillful. It's very simple. Circuit overload has lightning symbols. So we take that. Lightning charges plus one. Whenever you play a card for every energy used, apply lightning to all monsters. Add a copy of the card purification to your deck. Block and shield charges plus five. The next three defense cards give you dispel two, draw one, and apply three sanctify. Or Excalibur. Extra holy damage. Transform all damage to holy. Whenever you play an attack, burn them. Um, I'll, go, I'll go purification on this one, though it pains me a little bit to, to embrace the pun. 
And then I'm ready. Continue. Napoleon Dynamite voice. Do the chickens have black talons? So true. So true. What are you playing? You're, you're playing Tabula Rasa, and you go next. So status effects are not that mission critical, which is unfortunate because you are a, a poison-based unit. But, okay, I see what we need here. What, what we want to do is if I could kill you, that would be beautiful. So maybe we could start with this beautiful ambush here. You must have resistance to some of you he's got crazy resistance to like everything man okay how about bleed no resistance to bleed we need to apply this to you then oh it, sorry chain is not the same repeat hits the same enemy chain sends it down the line okay okay he's gotten speedy all effects have been purged including my evasion which is unfortunate now you it would still be nice to kill you you're gaining 18 block at the start of the round. Holy cow. All right. Self. Make yourself better. And then every time you play a defense card, we get a buff, right? Every time we play a defense card, we dispel two, which is not relevant for us, but we draw one and apply extra holy damage. We're the only person that does holy damage, but... I'll tell you what, for now, I guess it depends where the Tabula Rasa is. Everybody's getting some shield. Lay on pause. We could heal. I mean, one energy heal for 17 seems a little bit better for me than like two energy heal for 10. And they now have Blessed Zeal. And then, I mean, honestly, who's going to I'll infuse you with a little bit of... A little bit of courage on yourself? Why not? End turn. Way to apply a status effect to me when status effects don't even matter because somebody on your team has Tabula Rasa anyway, you idiot. Now. You're annoying. I'm going to... suffer myself. I am going to play Shock Nova, slow you all down so that we get to go first, and then I'm gonna, I had to do it in that order, then I'm gonna wet you. Okay, I'm passing my turn. Now we get to go first, hopefully, and stop you from playing your Tabula Rasa, which allows us to stack status effects and then eventually get the upper hand. Okay, you have 14 shield, which means a shield charge could actually do something. Although, <laughs> this, this does 3 damage, that seems pretty bad. Dispel, slow, grant extra card draw. Draw 1, deal 25 damage. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm a little annoyed that you're so straight. I mean, we're going to have to kill you later, okay? We're going to have to kill you. I'm sorry, we're going to have to kill you later. Who goes first on the enemy team? This sucker right here, but this only hits front monster. Ah, I hate you. I don't think we play any. I think we save our energy to pop off next turn. I'm sorry to say. Now you got the Tabula Rasa. When do you go? We get to go first. That's beautiful. So it would be very nice to kill you dead. Front monster, deal X damage, X damage equals target's poison. Okay, so you poison first. You don't get poison unless it gets through your block. Okay. Or are you, you're, oh, they're immune. They're immune to poison. It's the slime is the strongest enemy that's ever been created, man. Okay, well, I only have one energy left. Stealth me, and then I'll, I'll see a... I didn't even get stealth. Oh, that's not... It's stealth charges plus one. We need to play in the icy. But every time we get hit, we go stealth now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that's set up for next turn. Now, what about holy? You must take extra damage to holy, right? No, it's a zero. Hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. 
I can do this. I, I can't kill you. Hi, Tomo. Because the Tabula Rasa is coming, I'm going to place debuffs on myself that won't actually hurt me so that I can get extra damage or heals done this turn. Am I a genius? Am I the smartest man that's ever it existed to play this game? It's possible. It's been suggested. You, I don't know what you're going to do, but it's going to annoy me. There's no doubt about that. How about you get a super tank card that also carries some regen and you also get super block? No, that's on yourself. <laughs> What is the engineer perk we just got? Now you, you got to do some damage, man. You, they take extra damage against lightning. This is the moment for us. We, we zap you, or we zap somebody first. Twin scrolls, duplicate a spell from your hand. Okay, I would like to duplicate chain lightning. And shuffle it into the target's deck. I'd like to shuffle it into... Um, your deck, as crazy as it may seem. Please put Chain Lightning into Smokus's deck. And then I will Chain Lightning on you, which will kill you and possibly kill other units as well. Oh, 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 it, it, it hurt them at least. We can't deny that. Then you can purge some effects with your Tabula Rasa. See if I, oh no, we get to go first. You have 16 block. This is, deals X damage, X equals your block times 0.6, but then it purges your block. Deal X damage, X equals your block times 0.4, and then you apply some slowness as well. The slowness is not going to be too relevant. I'll tell you what, give yourself some block. We have six energy. Watch this. Shield throw for 18. It purges our shield. I know. I know. Wait, 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 wait. hang on. What's 60% of 19? It's like 11. That would take us to exactly enough to kill you. He's insane. And then with two energy remaining, there's no reason to play this, so we pass our turn. Which means there was no Tabula Rasa. Then, you have Evasion. It would be nice to burn your Evasion before Chain Lightning. We cast this for zero. How much Evasion? You got no more Evasion. Oh, get smoked, idiot! He's crazy. I'm not playing any Toxic Rain. I don't want you guys to take damage. We're just going to go straight India here. Phrasing. Dispel negativity, grant buffs. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with my paladin here, man. They are borderline useless, and the worst part is it's my fault. <laughs> um, we get to do a lot of... We, we get to act a lot, though, before you get to go. So I'll tell you what. All heroes get a buff. Some, some stay dry and others feel the pain. You know, I hadn't really thought about that. But in many ways, I would say that that is precisely correct, precisely true. Death's door. What, what, what's your problem? Self. Lightning charges plus one. When you play a card for every energy used, apply lightning to the opponent. Oh, it's over for you. Get, get wet. Wet, wet, wet. She the wettest in the building. And then one of these. And then one of these. How are you not dead? You have 19 lightning charges. Also, lightning deals damage to the units beside the unit that has all the lightning. That's good to know. Overpower, deal 37 damage. That's, I will spend all of my energy casting this spell. <laughs> How does NL know the wettest in the building? What are you talking about? Man, is that your girlfriend? I think she highly upset. She be talking how she wants Super Dave to go and get it wet. And so I get it wet. I had to get it wet. And then I go swimming like a shark hammerhead. 
How do I know that? Because it's the number one song of 2013. Okay, give me a second here. I, I've been told not to take too many cards. I've been doing pretty good at, at skipping the ones that don't seem like they apply to our deck, in my opinion. Holy Slash. I simply can't take another front monster card. Apply X bleed. Bleed equals your bleed. Dispel your bleed. I, I reject your bleed and substitute my own. Repair armor. I just don't see us using that. I think that's a shard-based situation. Random monster gets sprayed by poison. My only problem here is it's a little expensive. Three energy is pretty expensive there. Ambush requires stealth. I think that's something we can actually do because we start stealthy now. Now, Zap feels like it plays well with what we're doing here. It plays well with the ability that we picked up when we leveled up, so I am going to take it even though it's not a strong card. It does cost zero, though. And then Front Monster, 23 damage, 18 bleed. Leap Slam, any monster, 28 damage, and debuff. We need any monster abilities, in my opinion. All our heroes are basically fully healed. We're crushing it. We're going straight to another one. All monsters get one damage extra per round, and they get, they get, this is, you have to not understand compound interest in order to take this ability. I refuse to take this ability. All monsters get 15% extra damage per round, plus the plus one damage. No shot. We choose not to take this. Are you telling me your paladin's going to do something now? I'm telling you, um... When they're ready, they won't have to. Okay, this is simple. You're one of the weakest, and you go first. We use our ambush ability. You have a lot of physical damage resistance, but so what? I'm so ready for this freaking owl to just go hoo 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 in my head and freak me out. I will play Toxic Rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. We still have two energy remaining. It would be nice to poison Hugh as much as possible. Yes. And we want repeat, not chain. There we go. 16 poison on you. Shuffle a fish explosion into the target's deck. And then shoot me with ice arrows. This seems like a horrendous draw for me. Uh, I think it would be nice to give you a buff because you're the most likely unit to be attacked. It would also be nice to give yourself some block or some shield, I should say. And then everything else, I mean, I guess you could always play a Vitalize. We don't have to. We could have saved the energy, but... Magic Mushroom. Stop shuffling stuff into my deck, man. Warcry. Dispel slow. Apply bleed to my units. And it's okay. I'm going to reject bleed and substitute my own. Now, we got to go in on you. You must die. We have five energy. Energize. Gain one extra energy per charge at the start of the turn, then remove all charges. First, zap. Any chance we could get a zap? Can I, can I ask you why this... Oh, I see. This is an upgraded zap. Because it allows us to target a monster, whereas this zap targets a random monster, but it doesn't matter because it's going to hit the green guy anyway. Ooh. Duplicate a spell. Shuffle it from your hand into target's hand. Straight up, twin scrolls goes... Uh, shuffles something into our Paladin's deck, because the Paladin still doesn't do anything useful for us just yet. And again, I'm saying that's user error. Then, we zap the monster of our choice. First, first we wet all monsters. Then we zap the monster of our choice. Then we play an Electric Discharge. It does 26 damage. It's not enough to kill you, but it's still pretty good. Okay. Chain heal. I see what the theme of this fight is. Sustenance. I gotta remove this card, man. Purge shield. Deal 25 damage. 
Apply badness. Draw one, deal six damage. I don't need to purge my shield. It's better to purge your shield when you have zero, I think. This only does 15 damage to you, but I do, I do want to kill you first, so we should start there. And then, you'll take it. Oh, this only works with the front monster. Oh, okay. Slow down all subsequent monsters. It, it shuffles the order enough to give us like one extra attack. And you know what? I pass turn. Okay. I'm not stealth. I have no means to get stealthy with it. I think our turn is very simple. I think we play a neurotoxin and kill you so you don't get to act. Then our paladin gets to act. Did I actually do something good for once? <laughs> I feel like I did. This heal is horrible, by the way. 10 health for 2 energy? I need lay on pause, man. Sentences I thought I would never say, for sure. Getting stealthy with it? It's not my favorite Will Smith song. I don't want to incite another uh, rap battle, but I don't know if there's any Will Smith song I would willfully choose to listen to in my downtime. Miami is probably the closest thing to a, a song that stands on its own 25 years after its release. <laughs> Hang on. <clears throat> hey Dan, poetry stud here. I have a Master's of Arts in Linguistics. There's a long-standing theory related to the generativity of language that holds that most, if not all, adult humans have said sentences that have never been uttered before. Um, I've heard about that before. Unfortunately, I, in scrolling up to get the dance chat, I've made it impossible to see uh, the current messages in my chat. There we go. I have heard that that is true before. I am a little bit wondering why you posted twitch.tv slash Northern Lion in my own chat, though. But I'm happy to see you. Dan, I've got, a, I've got a take for you, and I'm interested to see how you feel about it. Before I say that, I do want to point out we are playing Across the Obelisk. Update 1.2 came out today. The game is on sale for 35% off to celebrate. And the new DLC, The Sands of Ulmanin, has just come out. We're playing basically the Slay the Spire type mode known as Obelisk Challenge. That is a complete roguelite. But there is also an adventure slash story mode that will teach you more about the lore of the world. And it's more of like a... Uh, a single-player RPG type deck building experience like a Pokemon TCG on the Game Boy Color for example thank you again to Paradox for the sponsorship so Dan in in Vancouver there was a woman operating a legal daycare with eight children out of her basement legal totally fine that's not the bit okay like a family child care situation she petitioned the city to open a uh, an expansion to it in her the main level of her house that would have allowed eight more children to come to the daycare and also she would have had to hire like an extra worker or something it got shut down by the city because almost everyone on her block came out to city council and filibustered and basically suggested that they were going to sue the pants off of the city of vancouver if they allowed this daycare expansion in their neighborhood some of the quotes, these are not verbatim, but they were like, already um, the kids play outside from eight to nine and from four to five. I can't open my windows and achieve any degree of peace with this in my neighborhood. You can't open your windows without hearing children having fun and that offends you for some reason. People said it's already too hard to park in our neighborhood with, with eight extra parents coming for 35 seconds to pick up their kids from this daycare. It would ruin the character of the neighborhood. Holy cow, man. I, was, I, I, I don't get into this on Twitter, but I almost quote tweeted it and said, I don't know what I was going to say. Some version of let me at him. <laughs> Note to self, here's a list of houses to throw eggs at on Halloween. I just can't imagine that what it's a daycare and was what uh one of the people said was um 
if we let them start opening stores in residential neighborhoods like this, sure, a daycare is fine, but now that we've set the precedent, what if somebody starts a car dealership or a, a motorcycle repair shop? And I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? I, I, you can, how can you compare these two things? Also, bro, it was Fairview. No one's opening a motorcycle repair shop in Fairview. The real estate is too expensive. They're going to take it. Uh, so there's unused industrial space on Clark Drive, okay? Anyway, sorry. I, and sorry to the sponsor. I just, I kind of got lost in it for a little bit. Fairview? I know! It's like, well, you live in West Point Gray and you're a NIMBY. I'm like, I get it. You have private beach access. But Fairview? Fairview? You got a park and uh, the view ain't even that fair, quite frankly. Sorry. Anyway. What was I doing? Uh, the owl has to go, but we can't kill the owl in time. Wait, yes, we can. The owl has to go. What are your resistances? You're heavily resistant to holy. Okay, well, I'm not going to do any damage to you then. You're, you're heavily resistant to like all physical damage. That's extremely annoying. You're insanely resistant to all physical damage. This is, this is not great for me. I'll just put it that way. Are you weak? To, you're not that strong to lightning. Everyone, oh, this, this is tough, man. This is tough. No, the sponsor is not from Fairview. You don't have to worry about it. The sponsor is from Sweden, where they're probably, uh, they don't have as many daycares because they actually offer uh, the world's highest level of paternity and maternity leave when you have a child. But in North America, where you, know, you got to go back to work at some point pretty soon after the birth of your kid, at some point you're probably going to need some private child care. And yes, for like, you know, four or five years, one of the parents is going to go back to work just to make enough money to pay for the daycare that allows them to go back to work in the first place. But anyway, I'm not saying everything's perfect. I'm just saying it's a different series of criteria, okay? Now, I got to focus on the game for a freaking second, all right? All heroes should be buffed. That's a given. This heal is unplayable. I should not have taken it. I'm going to take Expected Prophecy. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to play... I don't even want to play Holy Slash because you're so good at dealing at blocking physical damage. So I'm passing turn to save energy for next turn. We got to kill this dude, man. He's the healer. All right, are you, how's your lightning resistance? Relatively low? Love to see that. Circuit overload is your, your enabler. That's your ult. We have four total energy. All monsters get slowed and get a lot of lightning damage or five lightning damage plus it jumps a bunch and then a water jet. I mean, the slow is crazy. That, that could be big. Let's get that out first. I will pass on unstable power. It seems like a start of card hand instead of a start of hand card instead of an end of hand card. Now, do we have, yes, we have the ability to attack a monster of our choice. Fantastic. First, put some shield on yourself. We should have, we should probably play this at some point, but I also want you to uh, die. So let's get the damage out there. Thanks for the Peloton competition yesterday, NL. What the heck? Wait, are you the person with the Cosmo Kramer avatar who high-fived me with hashtag Peloton Dad? Probably not. I don't know. Their name in chat is Cosmo Kramer, so... <laughs> Could be. I don't forget, okay? I will say, you got it, LOL. I was wondering... Every time I get high five now, I don't know if it's just like a high five because they got a cue that I got a milestone or something. By the way, I did cross 800 rides yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Um, or if it's like a situation where they're racing against me and I don't know, but they know who I am. There's some information asymmetry there. I will say I had a great ride today with someone from Winnipeg who had a Pepsi logo as their avatar. 
and they beat me. But I was, I was seven kilojoules behind them five minutes in. I high-fived them to say, let's get this going. Let's get that bread. At the end of the ride, they beat me by like 50, and they high-fived me back. But I didn't take it as like a, you shouldn't have challenged me. I took it as like a, I am, this is the reciprocal high-five to say thank you for the race. And I hit the high-five back. I said, you beat me this time, but I'm going to, if I ever see you again, you best be careful, Pepsi Avatar. But also with respect. Okay, now I need to focus for a second. <laughs> we always play subterfuge if we draw it. It's an enabler. I mean, okay, all heroes get faster. That's actually pretty huge for us right here. That moved us all to the front of the order. And then, what is this? Whenever you're damaged by others, get even stealthier. Go, go ahead, get super stealthy and evasion as well. And go ahead, gain gain energy and more stealth, and then shuffle some small weapons into your deck. I'll take Poison Dagger, please, and end my turn. Jewels, how about Watts? Well, isn't a jewel just like a Watt per second or so? The kill a jewel is a Watt per second or something like that? So let me tell you, today, 90 minutes, average wattage, 206. Pretty good for still coming back from vacation. And that means my watts per kilogram is a little bit higher because I actually lost about a kilo in Florida, but it's probably coming back on because I'm pretty sure it's just because I was sweating like a gallon of fluid out of my body every single day just existing. Now let me think about this for a freaking second. Purification. Every time you play defense cards, dispel bad status effects, Draw a card and make a monster more weak to holy damage. This is not relevant. What's relevant for us? Playing buffers on everybody. Now pass it. You must pass away. I understand you have a shield on you, but that's your problem, not my problem. We're going to make everybody wet. Chain lightning will, will nearly kill you, but I can't guarantee that it would kill you. Electric Discharge is not going to kill you, though. Elemental Bolt is not going to kill you, though. Gain three buffer, two evasion. We got to try Chain Lightning. It's the only way. Oh! I guess it had to hit them, right? Because it chained off of you to you, but then it has to go to an adjacent monster, and there's an empty space here. I understand. Ooh. I guess I might as well do some frost damage. No, I should save energy. We got these are expensive cards. All right, three energy. You have nine shield, and no, you have nine block, thirty shield. This purges block, so it only does nine. Da well, it does less than nine damage. It's five point four damage. You should become powerful in all circumstances. I'm going to dispel your slowness and let you draw an extra card next turn. And then all of these cards are bad. <laughs> X equals your hand size. You get stronger. You become a taunter, though. Bro, I got to figure out how to make my... I know he's a tank, but I got to figure out how to do some damage with this dude. Because, like, he's basic. He's borderline useless. I'm ending my turn to get more energy for next turn. These cards are almost in German font. Hang on. I need to see them. Yes, I could totally see that. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Okay. I would like to poison you. I would like to hit you with a one-cost poison dagger. I would like to hit you with a two-cost poison dagger. Oh, and you die at the end of your turn, which sucks. But I bet we can change that. I'm passing. I bet there's no shot we're going to change that, because now I have to punch through 26 freaking shield. Your lightning resistance is 7. It's time to go off on you. 
you are gonna oh leap slam though leap slam a little bit of a leap no but you're gonna go next two cost i think it's a this does 17 with one thorns this does 22 with one thorns we hit you with one of those go ahead get get thorns and i'll i'll hit you again i don't mind it's right out outside your door now, sanctifying. Oh, you're right, it's only 16, and then it would be 10 next turn. Oh, why did I add it together? But you're dying on this, you're dying at the end of your next turn, and you don't do that much damage. So I think it's time to start focusing on this sucker right here. This seems like bad draw. Anyone, apply 10 burn. Maybe it's not that bad. Hit the wrong unit, but then hit the right unit. Get extremely lit on fire. Yeah. What? He's gone insane? He has 14 terms, turns, 14 stacks of insanity? 14 damage. 4 damage. But it also makes you more susceptible to blunt damage in the future. Same situation. I don't think I'm I'm breaking through to the other side here, Jim Morrison. Shield charge is plus two. When you block, all heroes get stronger. I mean, it's not the card you want to play at the end of your turn, but it is what it is. Okay. Now you gotta go. You're weak to fire. We have no means of creating stealth. Deal X damage, X equals targets poison. Purge, you you are a thorn user. We only have three energy. This would do 10 chain twice. So it might do 10 twice to you. It didn't do enough. <laughs> this will only do three, three damage, but it'll apply enough bleed to kill you before your turn. Okay, he's a genius. And then we just need to do 18 damage to you, which is probably borderline impossible with this character. So instead, all heroes get block and then throw in a heal on the tank and then pass turn you've done nothing you have actually hurt me quite prodigiously as the last unit remaining but that's okay we've done it <laughs> sharpen gain two poke damage not necessary first aid dispel bleed heal for 10 this is a shard based situation Deal six damage, apply two poison, repeat twice. It seems okay. Deal eight ranged, four dark damage. Apply, no, I don't think so. Discover, I love discover as a mechanic. My theory about trading card games, digitally speaking, is the more times you get to click, the happier you are. It's like in Magic the Gathering, the best deck might be uh, a red deck where you just cast spells at the opponent's face and they die on turn five. But the most fun deck is a blue-red deck where on turn four you play some sort of nightmare enchantment where every time you draw a card you get to scry and then there's another one that's like every time you scry you get to scry three instead of scrying one. And then anytime you scry and put the card on the bottom of your deck, you could choose to put it in your graveyard instead. And then you got a card that's like, whenever this unit would take damage, you can summon a card from your graveyard to block the damage instead. And like all of your turns take 20 minutes and all of your opponent's turns takes 20 seconds. And then you go uh, 0, 0 and 4 at Magic the Gathering on Fridays because every single round goes to time. I like it. So I like Discover. Cost reduced by one until discarded? Yeah, I think that's, that's tempo or something. Inner combustion, not lightning. Rain. Too cheap to stuff our deck with. Honestly, I think this is a skip as well. Hey, little mommy, let me whisper in your ear. No, no, no. I think we 100% we need damage. Another overpower is, is a good play here. I think it synergizes. Then give me an anvil, please. What should we do? Leave. Use the altar as is to improve your skills. 
or try to rebuild it for a bigger discount. We need five or higher drawing four cards and we got a lot of big boys. Come on. Oh! You get a 30% discount and everybody's even closer to leveling up. What can I say? I love rolling dices. Sorry, dies. I love rolling dies. Each altar has different upgrades that are more powerful than the basic version. You can make an offer of shards to upgrade a card or transmute. Okay, let's take a look at it. If I'm being honest, this lad has not impressed me. I think we need to be able to draw some cheaper cards that give us shields. Like what happens to shield bash? It can become much stronger. It can become slightly stronger or much stronger, but cost more. That's not what I'm looking at, man. What about grinding wheel? This literally, we have no reason for this. This shouldn't even be in our deck. You're already upgraded, so forget that. Draw a card. Wait, what does this mean? This card starts at the top of the deck. That is, is semi-nice. Zero cost, draw one, deal blunt damage. Now that seems like it's, it's 294 shards. And it only can be played once, which is a, a bonus, but it doesn't feel like a bonus sometimes. How about, how about heal? Can we make heal useful? 42 shards to make heal playable once. That seems like a decent value to me. Overpower has already been upgraded. Leap Slam cannot be upgraded. How about all, it costs four energy, can only be played once, but all heroes would get the bonus? Uh, what about, I'm gonna be honest with you, Chad. You should just tell me what would the best options be here. Because I can wrap my, ha my hand around playing the cards, but the meta upgrades, that's something that takes a little bit more expertise. Someone said, please upgrade Toxic Rain. And you know what? For 126 shards, you're absolutely right. Not poisoning myself means I'll actually play it. How about Wilbur? I love being able, for 42 shards, being able to choose the monster that I target seems like a gimme there. How about Superconductor? That's a transmutable, my mistake. Always make cheap cards better and expensive cards cheaper. He just blew my mind. A three cost shock Nova? That makes, per that makes perfect sense to me. That's it. You know how I always say like whenever, fitness is an example. People are always looking for like fitness advice. And then I say, you just have to build the habit. And they say, oh, just do it forehead. But really like that's the best advice. You can't just wait for like some little Manchurian candidate phrase to make your brain wake up and make you wanna start running. You just Manchurian candidate in me. You gave me like a piece of wisdom, a truism that I can rely on that solved all my problems. Another person in chat might have said, there's no shortcut. You have to read all the cards and think about how they would best fit the aim of your deck and how to help you get to your win condition. All you said was, hey, do this every single time. And it, it feels amazing. Sure, I'll, it's an expensive card. Let's make it cheaper. This always starts at the, t at the start of your deck. That's a big one. That's a big one because that means we get guaranteed damage off of that. Okay, I think I've spent enough. Move me on to the obelisk challenge. It turns out, I, oh, maybe I could use the heal. 30% health or you're fine. Look around for golden shards. I can remove a card from our decks. I can look around for shards, but I think I, come on, man. Anytime you get a chance to roll the dice, you got to take it. Less than six. Oh, and we got experience, which means we're going to level up, right? Why didn't we level up? We got like 200 experience. We only needed 53 or something. Where's my level, Denny? Anyway, 
All monsters gain lightning resistance. Okay, that's a non-starter. Apply Mark. Hey, we can dispel Mark. You've gone stealth mode, but you also have poison applied to you. Now, you are stealthed up. Ignores block and applies slow. Oh, oh, I didn't. Deals, it deals your stealth times seven. That's horrible. <laughs> That's god awful, man. I should have transmuted this guy. Well, instead, I'll start here. I'm a little scared about this lad, but I'm sure we got to take out the little minion first. It does cost three energy. I mean, that's that's pricey. It's a lot of damage, though. What's your, I didn't even look at your resistances, but it is what it is. And then... No immunities? Go ahead and take this, and then we'll apply some bleed to your friends as well. End turn, you get to act. Big shield. I've been made vulnerable. And, oh, you attack all units. Okay, I understand now. You've gotten faster. You've thrown a spear at me. And now it's my turn. But I get three actions in a row, so you're in a lot of trouble, quite frankly. I would like to dispel Mark. And make myself a little stronger. I would also like all heroes to get some shield and some block. And it's 22 damage. Two vitality, three regen. You should take that. Okay, and then pass my turn. Now, what's your lightning resist? 7%? That means your life is over, no disrespect. Oh, but you have like a oh you got a little a buddy in front of you. I'm not concerned about that. I will suffer two lightning, potential lightning damage myself. I will. With five remaining energy. I will hit you for 30. You're going down, brother. This only does six, but it has a good chance to jump and do more damage. This does 18 and guarantees that you die. Okay, that's a big one. And we bank one energy for next turn. Now you, you got to figure out what it is that you do. You presently have five block. Well, guess what? Now you got 12. I can't, oh, I have to hit the bad unit at the back because they're the front monster. Okay, I understand. Now I got 25. I can do 13 damage to you with my shield throw. <laughs> or I could purge my shields and deal 17 damage to you. Oh, I think instead I'm going to... Pass my turn and save the energy for next time. That purge is their shield, not yours! Oh! I've been misreading it for 75 minutes. Okay, my man is bleeding. There's no doubt about that. Toxic rain, history quickly crashing through your veins. That's an important one for us. Neurotoxin is doing okay. But I think this is a... When do you get to... You've already acted. Tactical thinking, poison spray. Play your neurotoxin, man. It does apply six more poison. I think when you get your good cards, you gotta play them. That's my controversial take on uh, being good at card games, which is something I know nothing about. Okay, so this three three energy, 28 dam 22 damage, I should say. This does 15 by default, but I could pump up an extra two energy on top of it as well. I think we take a chance on that, even though we do have protect from evil. You will now die on an end of turn effect. Understood? I probably could have lethaled you, but it is what it is, all right? Because they suffered trauma in their life, they are worse now. I understand that. Not worse. Not worse. Different. What's your ice resist? 8%. So this will not kill you. Water jet will not kill you. Elemental bolt will kill you dead before you get a chance to act. What's your fire resist? 5%. I'm a simple man. 
elemental bolt so you don't get a chance to act. Get zapped. And get ignited because we need some progressive damage because you have 300 HP and that's just insane. Now we have six energy. This is what it's all about. We always play Steel Forge, and then we play as many shield cards as possible to make our whole squad fully shielded. Dispel slow, draw more cards. Look at that, now we get to go first. Honestly, just being real with you, the rest of your cards are uh, horrible, so we pass turn on you, okay? One day we're gonna get some shields, though. And then it's over for you. You play Subterfuge, then whenever we take damage, we get stealthed. And we start stacking up poison. Which took us out of stealth, I realize. But I guess we got the damage buff, so we can't complain. Play Heat Laser. It's a combo with Steel Forge. Okay, okay. Next time I'll try to remember. Thank you. You spawned a unit. That's not fair. Okay, we play Purification. <laughs> I'll never not feel weird when I, when I say it. But then every time we play defense cards, we dispel two and draw a card and make a monster weak to holy. That's great. Do me a favor and get some block, which has made you slightly weaker to holy. Lay on pause would heal you for 32. Let's, let's go ahead and hit you with that right off the bat and pass turn. Now, Wilbur, I really need you to go off here, okay? Whenever you play a card for every energy used, apply lightning to all monsters. Beautiful. Take this spell and put some chain lightning in this dude's deck because he doesn't do any damage. Which is sad to say, but it's the, it's the honest to goodness truth. Make them wet, and then in all likelihood, this should kill you because it's going to jump twice. Well, this will kill you then. Beautiful. Okay, he's a genius. I'm, I'm simply the smartest that's ever existed. Now, inspire yourself. I have seven energy. It seems like the right time. We play this first because it'll make a oh, plus one damn. No, no, no. You, you use all your energy on this right here. That did 90 damage and made you vulnerable. And we get to go first. Ooh, he's crazy. I'm actually good. Now, I think with three energy, we should poison you. 26 poison, that seems good. And we should poison you. And... If we speed the squad up, mayhaps our paladin goes first. Ooh, and then I'll become stealthy. And then I'll come out of stealth just to add some more poison on you. And then of course our paladin does no damage, but that's, that's life. Chill out, what you yelling for? Everybody take a beautiful block here. And um, why don't you take a super block? And then we'll pass turn. And now it's time to shock you with lightning. What is jump? So it's, it's repeat the card's effect on another target. So with one target, it probably doesn't jump, right? Instead, I'll apply some water jets to you and then follow it up with an electric discharge. And then I'll pass my turn. And one day I'm going to play a defense card on our tank and everything's going to make a lot of sense, man. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. One day I'm simply going to play Chain Lightning and do 51 damage to you. Who said I was going to die to the first boss? Because you simply... Oh, I shouldn't... Oh, it, it, oh, it didn't take me out of stealth. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. I needed to play my ambush. Oh. 
It's all right. I mean, I can still do. I can still apply some poison to you. Don't get me wrong, and it might throw. Oh, but then you might kill me. I might. I might be a fool. I might be an idiot. Don't kill Smokus. He's just shielding. He did not kill Smokus. We're we're so safe. This is a gimme. Put all your energy into it, and you're dead. Okay, I just, I was saving the kill for our uh, Lightning Lord. I killed you with a zero cost spell. How does that feel? How does that feel? By the way, we've completed the first realm of our roguelite challenge here. And across the obelisk, today's stream is sponsored by Paradox. Thank you again for the sponsorship. Exclamation point obelisk. The main base game just had a big update come out which is what we're playing. It also had DLC come out, but to celebrate the release of the patch and the DLC, the main game is 35% off for today, and you can check out the DLC for yourself at exclamation point obelisk. I do want to stress we're not playing it right now. One of the big selling points of Across the Obelisk is the ability to do online co-op multiplayer, which does not exist in unmodded versions of other deck builders as far as I know, which means you and... Two friends, three friends, one friend. You can get in here and instead of controlling all four units, you might find it easier to manage if you're only controlling like one to two. True, I'm doing it right now. Really? That's... Or are you just saying that? Gain X shield. X equals your draw pile times four. Always starts at the top of your deck. Enrage. Draw a card, gain two energy. Why would you ever not take this card? This is the greatest card that's ever existed. This is like the, the Black Lotus of Across the Obelisk. It's like you, you have to include four of them in every deck, right? Fan of Knives. To all monsters, you deal nine damage and some poison. Back monster gets hit for 12 poison and you get stealth. Honestly, I'm going stealth though mode right now. Pyro Blast, we'll never, we're not a fire-based team, okay? Ice Comet, we're never going to have seven energy. Scroll of Intellect, I choose to pass on that one. Battle Plan, draw two, place two from your hand on top of the deck, gain one Energize, I see. Chain Heal or Pummel? I think we got to go Chain Heal on that one. I forgot we get to upgrade our equipment now. Okay, this is very important. I think for you, we need the Crusader's Helmet. So you start with 26 block. And block is not removed at the end of the round. That seems like a given for you. Now you... You are already really fast, but maybe some boots would be nice. Although, small weapon is kind of interesting too. But anyway, can I take boots? Oh, I already have a cloak. I already have a cloak, so I'm not going to sweat. You know what? In that case, I'm taking... Oh, but I already have applied to poison all monsters, but this is better than that. The large pouch is better than the venom flask. Two poison all my Max HP plus 10, three... Sm okay, you know what? I'm... <laughs> Blunt damage is irrelevant. I'm a pass. I'm a pass on this one. Yeah. I'm taking... Uh... Well, I guess we could... Whenever you play a melee attack, draw one. I guess that's probably better than 125 gold, considering I haven't found a place to spend it yet. Um, once per turn. Okay. Now you... Combat start, gain buffer. That would replace your gloves, though. But it's better than the gloves. Speed plus two. Okay, I see. I think we want to go pointy hat on this guy. Lucky paw, probably. You know what? I'm just going to trust you over me. <laughs> and you can take small weapons. Because you don't... Oh, no, you should probably take holy damage. 
Oh, ah, you need to take the Justicar ring. Because once you play your ult, you give enemies Sanctify, which then means you'll also give Burn. Okay, all right, all right. We, we got a flywheel going here. Now the next enemy f we fight is going to have like 99% uh, Burn resistance, but whatever. Okay. What should we have? 12 max HP and speed. Six to all resistances and speed. Or two block, two shield, plus one to all damage. <sighs> speed is really important, don't get me wrong. Maybe plus six all resistances, one speed. And we gotta level up, holy cow. Okay, level me. When you play an attack, Gain plus one to fire damage and eight block. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of defense cards in your hand by one until they are discarded. Oh, we need this. This is part of our, this is our engine. We don't play that many attacks, unfortunately. You should follow the same side. Oh, it's like an XCOM thing. I see. When dealing damage with a hit, apply poison. Whenever you play a melee card attack that costs energy, refund energy and gain one powerful. I see, this is the, 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 I mean, this is crazy. I mean, the poison seems crazy too, but like, refunded attacks? Uh, we need some draw to make that work though. Spark plus one, I'm not even reading the other one. Spark on enemies also damages the enemy with the spark. I don't really know what that means, we're going for it. Holy cow, when you play a warrior card, reduce the cost of the highest cost of healer card in your hand, but I don't have any good healer cards. Zeal plus two, zeal on this hero increases all damage done by 1.5% per burn charge. They're both, uh, they're both useless. Nah, warrior has use. Okay, then we send it. All right. And then, send me. Everybody fully healed. Anvil me? Oh. I would like to remove up to two cards per hero. This is going to change my life. You have many useless cards. In fact, almost all of your cards are completely useless. So please, <laughs> chat, help me out. I don't think I've ever played shield throw you've a li okay grinding wheel i've literally never played that's for sure shield breaker is i uh, is playable is okay overpower is very playable infuriate is not playable and it's super expensive get out of my deck and then i mean grinding wheel is literally useless i, I guess we'll dump that Now, Thulls. This is like, we have less useless cards and we have more cards that are like, we'd like to draw our good cards faster. You mean Smokus? I said what I said. I feel like Sawblade is okay, but we don't play it very much because we play Poison instead. If, okay, you know what? Wicked Craftsman, also maybe not my favorite. Remove Uproot. Uproot is, is pretty annoying to draw. Don't remove that. Okay. I'm going to remove Uproot. I think that makes sense. And I'll remove Tactical Thinking because it adds a card in our deck that doesn't synergize with Poison. Now, Wilbur. You got a good hand, but to be honest with you, I don't think we care about this element. Well, that's pretty nice, actually. Let me see here. We don't, we don't, I kind of, we don't, we never play mirror image. And we never play ignite. Or we prefer not to have to play ignite. Now you, again, your whole deck, oh, the curse. <laughs> Dude, the curse isn't even bad. It's actually, it's really good. Whatever, we'll go to a town or something like that. Um... It's not that easy to remove trauma. It costs more than 90 gold, okay? It's like 186 Canadian dollars an hour. You, what do we never play with our Paladin? We play everything, but that's just because all the cards are bad <laughs> for me. 
the damage cards are useless. The inner fires, I think we could probably make it work, but like, the we're never playing the damage cards, man. Although if, I guess maybe we would if we're adding sanctify to our opponents. Okay, sure. All right. What? The, I think that this has been an improvement, even if we definitely should have removed the curse. That's fine. And then should we fight an elite? I don't think so, because if we die, it's awkward timing for restarting a run. So, oh, we got to deliver the monster egg. All monsters gain max HP plus 20 and thorns. Okay. Important question. Does casting spells save you from thorns damage or do you still get thorns damage? No. Okay, I do not accept the challenge then. I'm in stealth. I will come out of stealth. Let's look at resistances. Can you believe this? I'm, I'm looking at enemy resistances before I act. I'm not simply playing cards. It would be nice to kill the mosquito before it gets a chance to act. So let's start there. Tag yourself, I'm second from the left. Honestly, this is tangential. You guys need to help me out with my uh, husbandly duties. Not like that, you sickos. It's the lead up to that. You know how there's like that meme format that's like, it, let's just say it'll be an image of like a Pokemon and the Pokemon will be named like Shiny Cutie or something like that. And then the boyfriend or husband will take a screenshot of that and send that to their significant other and say, this is you. And then you get like a bunch of like aws and heart emojis in response. I need you guys to hook me up with some easy ones of those that I might see in my day to day life that I could take a picture of and send to my wife and say, this is you or this is us or something like that. You need to help me out. Okay. No, not, they're not all Pokemon. Okay. Two cute mushrooms in a pack. Send that and say, this is us. A picture of two otters cuddling and say, this is us. Okay, all right. That's a... All right, I'm writing it down. Cute but angry Pikachu, this is you. That's a risky one. I don't know if I would start with that one. <laughs> okay, with three energy, I'm looking at what I have available here. I'm going to make my heroes faster so that we go way earlier in the order which gives us way more time to kill the mosquito and then i'm going to to the back monster i'm going to uh deal damage and stealth myself up again and i'm not going to come out of stealth this does 28 damage I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of hard not to play 30 block, three buffer, turn one, and then just like a hard pass that one. Picture of the frog and the scorpion. I'm gonna plus two that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna plus two that. Okay, step one, all monsters get wet. That's a big one. And then eight damage. Superconductor? It's jump though. Wait, wait, wait. Eight damage, eight damage. Eight damage. Seven damage. Come on, just jump to the jump to the mosquito again. Oh, you piece of junk! Oh, but the poison is at the end of the turn. The mosquito's gonna get to act. No, it's not, because I've got this guy still. Okay. You've purged my, my fortifications. Want to touch the Heiner? <laughs> you knew it was going to happen at some point, right? Um, I will use Steel Forge. Every time I play a block card, all heroes get block. It dies to lightning. Wait a minute, does it? Because on your turn, what order does this stuff happen in? Deals four lightning damage to target size, sides at start of turn. 
Oh, when you block damage, your team gets blocked. Okay. Red Skull means dies first. Oh, okay. We should actually, I mean, we have a lot of shield. Like, we should do damage with our shield for once. We should probably start with a shield charge. That did so little damage because your resistances are so high. I will do, uh, well, I could do a shield throw, but I don't really want to lose my shield because I'm probably about to be hit. So I guess I'll just, well, I guess this could target anybody, but it's only doing 19 damage. I'd rather just do 18 damage to the unit at the front. And then we get an enrage we can't play. And then why don't you draw one extra card? It's crazy that I can target my, my lad when he's in stealth. It's like, when you're homies with somebody, you don't need to see them to know where they are, man. Okay, well that turn did not seem that bad. We have four energy. Subterfuge is like, it's kind of your ult, but this is also kind of your ult. It's not doing nearly enough damage. Because X equals, you got to stack poison first before you play it. Okay, I would like you to die. You're strong against everything, but status, status effects might change that. We got to apply DOTs to you. Yeah, DOTs, I get the picture. Good, good stuff. Toxic strike on the back monster. I mean, they have evasion, so I won't be playing that. Me 20 minutes ago might have played that, but me now, no, 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 no. Poison spray on the front, please. Well, that was actually a great way to burn off the invasion. Or the evasion, I should say. And then, you can end your turn with that. Pass turn. Now you go first. Nothing really to dispel. We're probably not going to do... An, well, we can't do enough damage to kill anything. In all likelihood. We'll do 10 damage to you and, and give you some burn. I think if anything... You know how much would this do? Let me think about this. I think we'll just try to get you closer to death. We, this will probably help out our sorcerer when it comes to killing you in time. What is lion? Courage. Holy shadow mind resistance and eight block. I would rather put up... Oh, but you already got 50 block on yourself. Holy cow. Just go ahead. You look like a bobblehead on top of your uh, cleric's body right now. Excuse me, that's insulting. I can't believe you would say something that absurd and that offensive. She's not a cleric. She's a paladin. They're two... I'm told they're two completely distinct classes and archetypes within the world of the Forgotten Realms. It's like rain on your wedding day. No, no, no. We got a... A free ride when you've already paid? Okay, du duplicate this spell. Well, so I need to figure out who gets it. You should get it. Duplicate rain, actually. No, duplicate electric discharge. We need more... We always need more damage. And then rain on everybody. Even ourselves. And then... You're not gonna die to this? Are you crazy? You're gonna come mighty close, but you're gonna get a whole freaking turn out of it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what the heck's going on with this? Magma Blob. Every turn, cast Magma Splash. You have selected Power Drive. War Paint. Becoming more powerful. Three energy. Purge the monster's shields. Do 17 damage. Deals damage roughly based on your shields. The front monster deal... Okay, you know what you do? Draw one, deal nine, make you weak to blunt damage. Then... Block is not removed at the end of the round. That's of extreme importance for us, even though a shield bash is, seems decent as well. 21 block and then block is not removed at the start of your round. Let me see here. Toxic rain. History quickly crashing through your veins. 
Go stealth -o mode? Pop out of stealth. Go stealth. I thought when I played a melee attack, I uh, I guess maybe those none of those were melee attacks. I thought I drew a card when I played a melee attack, but I, apparently I'm mistaken. Go stealth -o mode again. And then you need to die to lightning, but you are not a lightning caster. <laughs> Play your ult and then... Oh, but I do. You do have a lightning cast. But I think we just need... With three energy, I hate to say it. I think all heroes just need a little bit of support. And then we might as well do an expected prophecy. I'd love to have these two next turn. Okay. Stop saying this dude is a blank and blank. Okay? He's not a blank and blank. Lots of animals in the animal kingdom have this morphology as well. Without being a blank and blank. You got the beans above the frank, etc, etc. He is? He's not. He's just a dude with two... He's got a, a particularly large gluteus maximus, and he's got a cauldron on his head. It's got nothing to do with, with what you guys are talking about. My reaction when my lightning is changed? How about a picture of a blank and blank and say, this is us? That would be... I'm not saying there's... Not a time and a place, but just for an average text out of the blue, that one could get you in a lot of trouble, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you'd... you... Why don't you try it and let me know how it worked out for you, okay? Coat of Arms. Dispel vulnerability, gain 42 block. And 2 shield. Reckless charge. Discard a card, deal 25. It only works on the front monster. It actually, it seems nice to have a way to deal some damage, honestly. Pick a card from your discard pile, place it on top of your deck. I see the, I see what you can do there. The Jessica Rabbit card, not useful in our deck, give me some shards. I see limited lightning abilities. We already have one Shock Nova, I take some shards. 31 block, 8 thorns. Is some self only? I bet you could apply that to a hero if you upgrade it, though. That would be pretty good. Apply bleed. 20 damage, sanctity slow. <sighs> oh, you can. It vanishes after you play it once. Okay, that's our upgrade. Our upgrade does not turn into hero. I think we might benefit from, like, Shining Force. It's always nice to have some extra damage. I feel like we're not doing enough damage. We have delivered the monster egg. You meet the rat man. He asks you to give him the ingredient. He also says that you can only give the dish to one of the judges. Who would like to eat a dragon egg? I think the harpy would like to eat a dragon egg. I think the slime would like weird mayonnaise and the human would like grain. What? Low self-esteem. A shameful reminder that things didn't go as planned. He gets very angry at the rat man for making her eat an egg and instantly disqualifies him. That was my reward? Harpies lay eggs? <laughs> what did the harpy want? Some freaking grain? Doesn't make sense. All monsters get resistance to the only types of damage I do, and all heroes suffer the inability to play attack cards every two rounds. That's all right. I think I'll just send it. Okay, now you use your brain. You are very strong to lightning resist. That's unfortunate. You're also very strong to lightning. You're all very strong to lightning. Okay. Who do we have the best chance to kill? You or you? What am I more scared of? Zenyatta or an enemy from Darkest Dungeon? I would say an enemy from Darkest Dungeon. By the way, how about this? Imagine I used Windows Snipper tool. This is us. How about that? Would that work? That would not work. See, this is why I this is why I need you around. That and the fact that 
you know, you make my job possible. Um, okay, I would like to, realistically speaking, I would like to ambush you. And then follow it up with a poison dart. And then follow it up with a poison dagger. Now, do I care to apply poison to you? In my opinion, we might as well, rather than just saving the energy. And that gave us energy in return. Okay, so we, we, it, there was no reason not to play it. Now I get to go. I have a leap slam! I drew a good card! This will do 23 damage to you, making you much easier to kill. We could use an AoE to purge your evasion. This made a healing card, or a, not a healing card, it made a, a attack card cost less damage? Cost less energy? I don't know what I'm saying anymore! Um, this is good. This will burn off one evasion, and it'll at least do something to all the other units. And then, I mean, the heal is better used later, for sure. You could always benefit from a little extra block. Oh, you know what? In this case, why not? Now, you're all strong against lightning, which is, like, super annoying. But also, the only thing I do is lightning. So, it's like I might as well. <laughs> Slow everybody down. That moved our paladin up. That's exciting. You are dying at the start of your turn, I think, which is very unfortunate. How about this? This does 15. This will do 10 plus 7. I'll hit you for this much then. I, I think we're going to find a way. Green means end of turn. Red means start. Okay, so red means they're actually going to die before they can attack. I understand. Oh, this is great! War paint! Okay. Enrage. Draw one. Gain two energy. We're going off. We can also slow down the monsters for absolutely no reason. Now, we have 42 block. That means we could do 16 damage to the front monster while also applying some slow. At least there's some value out of it. We should start, though, with bluff, which gives us draw and applies badness to you. And then, hang on, all monsters, it the, equals your hand size. You burn them, you deal fire damage, we get stronger. Okay, play a heat laser then. Heat laser's good. I'm going to have to take your word for it. But then I, I hit you with one of these. Shield charge. Front monster. It's exactly the same. I don't know why I'm reading the card. I would like to hit you for 21. And then all monsters get even slower. How much do you, pur do you purge? Do they purge the whole thing every time? Because if so, that's useless. But if they don't purge the whole thing every time, that's going to make their next, their next turn quite ineffective. Sharks with freaking laser beams on their head. So true. That would be that would be frustrating to deal with. A oh, scarab. <laughs> what do you give me? What is what does this scarab give me? It's not a golden scarab. I don't know what a scarab of this of this varietal gives us. Love, I can't get enough of it, so true. I would love to have a melee attack. Is this a melee attack? I don't, I don't believe that it is, quite frankly. It's the curse of the Pharaoh. Pharaoh, the t Pharaoh, where are you? The temple needs its Pharaoh. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking for a moment, okay? The card says at the bottom if it's melee. Oh, small weapon is not melee. Okay, thank you. That's very useful. Thank you. I'm going to use poison spray. Could be worse. I'm going to use saw blade. It's going to, you're immune to bleed, huh? I am not going to play saw blade. I'm going to make my own team hella fast. 
And then I am going to gain energy. And then I am going to blur myself. Now, you dying before you get a chance to act would be beautiful. What's your holy resist? His resistances to everything are insane. You're doing 50% less damage this turn? I gotta, I gotta dispel this fool, man. Start with two draw. Give me something here. Chain heal's not really relevant. I can't even afford the... Okay, this should go on top of the deck so we get it next time. Five damage. Okay, you forced my hand. There's five damage for you. And guess what? Throw in another guard on our tank. I mean, for zero, I guess I would... I guess I would play it. And then for zero, sure, I suppose I would probably play it. <laughs> All right, now your damage... No, no, not you. Okay, this is good. It's good. We'll definitely start with unstable power. And then we'll... It's horrendous, man. You have five burn. I don't really want to make it rain just to do one more lightning damage to you. I guess I'll just apply some electric discharge. And then circuit overload. And then pass turn. I'm a little frightened. Mostly just because this dude's going to do no damage this turn. Any chance I can do 69 damage to you in spite of everything? That would do 12. This would do 8. This would do 7. This would do 8. This would do 4. <laughs> hmm. Alright, this seems horrendous. It'll sound crazy. On this turn, with a 50% damage debuff, I do nothing. Like Lindsay Lohan at the end of Mean Girls, the limit does not exist. We save our energy to play attacks that are twice as good next turn. All right, we have every status effect known to man. Toxic rain, that's a gimme. Toxic strike hits the back monster. Bane hits the front monster. X equals target poison. Okay. Well, I... Listen, realistically, I think we're more likely to kill the back monster before the front monster, so... We, we go ahead. We, got, we drew a sneaky strike off of that, which allows us to go stealthy mode. And I'll shuffle some small weapons in my deck. None of which are melee. That makes sense now that I think about it. Take an upgraded saw blade. Chain heal seem, seems very sensible in our present circumstances. Good job. <laughs> Don't even get me started on this guy. Transfer two curses? He's putting two curses in my deck every time he attacks? You're so zappable. First you should get wet, like Andrew WK's debut album. Then we should zap. I knew it! Zap you, because then we get some draw out of it. This will do 23. I think we want to play Twin Scrolls on uh, our next actor. I'm actually going to put it on you. And then I want you to use Electric Discharge, please. And then the fact that this is not killing you is insane to me. Any chance this kills you? Very unlikely. So I'm just going to send out our highest damage ability. Green means they die at the end of their turn. I know that now. What the heck was that? <laughs> Steel Forge. Purge. Enemy Shield. Deal 25 damage. Apply some bluntness. You must die before you can act. That's a gimme. And then block as much as you can. And then when you get hit, the whole squad is going to get block. And nobody will ever take damage ever again. He knows. You have three energy. You've got resistances to everything under the sun. 
I think it's just a, a straight up neurotoxin rushdown. Just a guaranteed neurotoxin rushdown. And then you, you're gonna, you're gonna zap him. We got six energy. You're gonna squall him. You're gonna zap him. And then we're gonna look at the numbers. You're gonna rain on their wedding day. And then chain lightning will kill you. Huge. And then you're literally just a dude. So I don't even care about you. And with three energy, literally just get hit and put all your energy into it. And then you're the slowest unit that's ever existed, but that's okay. Because with five energy, you get a shield, you dispel your slow and get more card draw. We draw. We get even stronger. Now this, let me look at this first. You go first next time, you got 24 speed, bro? This does 34 damage. This does 21. But it'll also slow you. But it won't slow you enough. So you know what? You just take that one then. That being said, it is over for you. What TF is that emo? Are you talking about Joel, brother? He's just a fish. Nothing weird about it. You've never seen a fish that spins around before? Let me upgrade you. You may not be a model, but I can front page you. You know I'm nasty. Excuse my behavior. Let me just taste you. We can frick later. Lil Wayne upgrade you freestyle. Anyone ever listen to Lil Wayne upgrade you freestyle? No, it's pretty good. I would recommend it was one of Pitchfork Media's top 100 songs of the year 2007. One second, I'm going to make a good choice. Grant X block. It equals your draw pile times four. Deal X. X equals the speed difference between you and the target times two. So you could actually get a value out of being slow, right? Unless you gave them a negative 20 damage maim deal 28 damage i think this is a skip honestly and i'll tell you this is the easiest skip of my life superconductor is a very playable card though sunder armor it is damage innervate rampage or prayer of protection honestly i think it's a shard situation Kate is going to use maim on your Mr. Longballs. I heard that she was talking about me getting a vasectomy on her stream. Here's the thing. I'm not opposed to getting a vasectomy. I'm a modern man. One kid might be enough. And it's definitely easier for the man to get a vasectomy than for the woman to get a tubal ligation. But the wrong time to make an appointment for a vasectomy is... When you just got back from being on vacation with three kids, two of which are not yours. That's not the right time to make that decision. You got to let that sort of situation simmer for a couple of months, I think, to get you back to the baseline where you can make the decision from a sober mindset instead of like an emotional mindset. That's my two cents. on it. Exactly. It's like grocery shopping on an empty stomach. You're like, I want all the vasectomies. Do you have any room tomorrow? It's reversible anyway? Yeah, but like... <laughs> you know, snip, snap, snip, snap, Jan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, this has been Across the Obelisk. Thank you <laughs> to Paradox for the, for the sponsorship. I had a great time. I think, honestly, Obelisk heads in chat... What are the odds that we were going to succeed on this run? Because I feel like we were doing pretty well. Our heroes have relatively high HP. We had some synergies popping. It wasn't perfect, but we were doing okay. 100% you were going to win. Yes! I knew it! 
Anyway, thank you again for the sponsorship. Check out Across the Obelisk version 1.2 on sale, 35% off on Steam right now. And the new DLC, The Sands of Olamin, which just came out. New characters, new cards, new uh, scarabs that give you rewards if you can kill them, but I could not manage to kill them before they ran away. And I can't stress enough, a big part of the appeal for me is the online co-op multiplayer. It's nice to have a deck builder that facilitates banter as well. For now, though, thank you again. And I, I can't slash marker until I close the game. So I apologize for that. So I'm going to close the game. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit this quit game button. And then I'm going to slash marker you. And I'm going to type across the obelisk.